What's going on, Poke Masters? Kevin bringing you another episode of It's Not a Bad Deck. Today we've got Lunala Mewtwo, using the new Mewtwo from the Shining Legends set. So without further ado, let's get into a deck profile. We're using one Drampa GX. Everybody knows what that does. If you don't, look it up. We're using one Banana Master. This nice Sun and Moon promo Banana Master too. Probably going to be only using the Instructability, but Psychic is going to be good just because we're going to be able to move our energies around. We're playing a 2-1-2 line of Cosmog, Cosmom, and Lunala GX. Now, I wanted to fit in more, but there's so many cards that we need in this deck, we just had to cut it. So 2-1-2, two, because two, we're only going to be using really this Psychic Transferability. Uh, it could be cool to use this Lunar Fall GX, but not too many uh, psychic deck or sorry um, EXs left out there. So taking two prizes off of uh, off of this Lunar Fall GX is going to be difficult, unless we run into Volcanion, which that'll be good. Uh, probably not going to be using this Moongeist Beam. Um, it's four energies, really high attack cost, only does 120 damage, but the defending Pokemon can't be healed during your opponent's next turn. But now with the addition of Guzma, that kind of becomes irrelevant because you just swap it out to your bench, heal it, and then switch back, and then you're good to go. So, kind of useless. But we're going to be using this guy right here, Mewtwo GX, 190 HP basic. Probably going to only be using this full burst attack for a single psychic energy. This attack does 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon. So... Not as good as Mewtwo or uh, as Gardevoir, but Mewtwo's pretty good. It's going to be able to use DCEs along with this single Psychic Energy. Uh, we're going to be able to use Max Elixir to move energies around, so or to put them on, and then Lunala to move them around. So hopefully, we have decent energy acceleration. Uh, the next two attacks, we have this so, uh, Super Absorption for 60 damage, and we heal 30 from this Pokemon. Probably not enough healing to to be uh, using this attack. But it also might not be bad. Sometimes we need we need to heal. And then this Psy Strike GX. This attack does damage or <clears throat> what? Oh. Oh, this attack isn't dan or this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your op opponent's active Pokemon. So if we get hit by a Jolteon, we're still gonna be able to take a knockout on something like that. But this Psy Strike GX is doing 200 damage. That's great. So if we just hit this and then a cho uh, choice band. That's a one-shot on a Gardevoir. I like it. All right, next we're using this Necrozma GX. Because Necrozma, Necrozma's amazing. Why not? We're playing Psychic. We're going to be able to use this Prismatic Burst. Mainly going to be wanting to use this Black Ray GX to spread a bunch of damage and then kind of dink everything down with Mewtwo so we don't have to stack too many energies if we face a Gardevoir deck. So <sighs> that's why we're using Necrozma. Then we're playing two Tapu Lele, pretty standard. I know a lot of people are playing three, but again, we didn't have room. I guess I could have opted for it, but I like Drampa, so we're going with him. All right, next into the trainers, we got one Enhanced Hammer. I wanted two, but again, no space. One Field Blower, again, wanted two. <laughs> Four Max Elixir, definitely needed. One of the, or these, I opted to go with two Max Potion, I like it just because we're moving energies around. Kind of reminds me of the uh, old version of Golduck Break. I know we uh, brought it in a few weeks ago, but there was a version that I'd, I'd seen with it that was playing playing Max Potions. I think it was on Mega Gyarados. This is when I first started playing, but still really good. So we're going to throw that in there. Then we're only playing three because we're running a 2 1 2 line of Lunala GX. We're only playing three rare candies. And then we're playing one Super Rod. I wanted initially the uh, the Rescue Stretcher, but opted for Super Rod because we do need to put these energies back in deck if we need to hit Max Elixirs. <clears throat> uh, then we go one Switch, one Switch instead of the Float Stone. I've seen a lot of people be or a lot of people playing this, so we're gonna tech it out and see how see how it works for us. Four Ultra Ball. One Acerola, uh, two Bridget, because we need to set up our bench, and we're not playing any EXs, so we'll be able to set up this 
Mewtwo GX with Bridget. And then we're playing three Guzma, three N, three Sycamore. Again, wanted four and four, but we're out of space because we need these two Skylas right here. Got to be able to search the certain items that we need. Plus, if we're playing against a Garbodor, we don't really want to have to ditch too many items. Not unless we have to. Then for our trainers, or our uh, tools, we got two Choice Band, two Fighting Fury. And then we our energies, we've got 12. We're playing nine Psychic and three DCEs. So kind of an awkward list, but we're going to test it out. Maybe it's not a bad deck. All right, guys, let's get into a battle. All right, who are we going to battle now? Okay, so we got Kosi Rosie. I don't know. I don't know his name. We got it covered up by this uh, collector's cash logo. Sorry, guys. But it was either that or my hand. So we got to see my hand. All right. Waiting for our opponent to load the game. Can we get a win with Lunala Mewtwo? All right. All right, they had no. Looks like we are. Looks like we're gonna be, looks like we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. We got a start that we needed. We're gonna get a Bridget. He's playing Volcanion, so we're gonna be able to use Lunala for the GX. Amazing. We will draw a card. All right. Getting this Bridget. One of them is prize, that's why we play two. It's kind of kind of lame that we have to play a card that we, we only use once and you're never gonna see after that. I mean, you may, but it's just, just a little difficult. Excellent, we got this Mewtwo. Cool. Not a bad turn, not a bad turn. Probably just gonna end after this. He might Kiave. He does not play any special energies, so we are gonna be able to ditch this. All right, so he's getting a Volcadeed. Oh, pardon me, it is early for me, so a little tired. All right, he's using his own Max Elixir, and he hits it. Attaching an energy, and he's playing N. Good, thank you. Thank you for playing N for us. Hmm. <clears throat> well, that's great. We're gonna attach this, put this here. I'm going to switch. Unfortunately, gonna have to ditch this. Probably for the Cosmo. I'm ripping the sycamore. Oh, bummer. All right, and let's just full burst for 70 damage. Two hundred and thirty is such a high HP for a basic. With Fighting Fury, of course. So 190. But we saw that early on with uh, 
with Snorlax GX, and 190 is pretty common, and then now we have Turtonator and Ho-Oh, who also have 190. But they are reverting back to a lot of 180s. Like, you saw Necrozma with the last set, you see uh, Entei coming in with 180 HP, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be average around 170 to 180, or 190, um, like with uh, that new, the new Feromosa GX is going to be having 170 HP, so keeping it all within that range. Okay, so he's going to use Tapu Lele, a secret Tapu Lele for this Sycamore. What does he ditch? Ooh, he's already gotten rid of two of his Guzmas. That is not in a good spot for him. Now he's just going to hard retreat. He's just gonna power up these, uh, this vo baby Volcanion and the the Ho Oh. All right, so what can we do here? We don't really need much bench space, so we're gonna attach this. We're going to Ultra Ball. We don't need our Skyla anymore. Probably not going to need this Drampa. We're going into Lunala. And we are going to end. Because we want to be able to put this energy back in our deck and hopefully hit a Max Elixir. Well, we got our max elixir, but we also grabbed two more en or another energy. So, not the best way to go, but we hit it. It's okay. Still not enough to knock him out. Dang it. That's all right. That's all right. We're just gonna move one of these energies. Necrozma, and then we're gonna Soul Absorption. Or, uh, sorry, Super Absorption. For 70 damage, and we're gonna heal that up. I like it, I like it. Alright, so he hits his own. And he's hitting an N. Okay. Six fresh cards. Oh, perfect. We're gonna Lunar Fall GX. So we are going to Hmm. Let's Guzma out this Oranguru. Yeah, we're Guzma out the Oranguru. Attach an energy. Now in hindsight, I probably shouldn't be playing the uh playing the max potions because we're playing DCEs. And I'm not trying to get rid of that DC, so I'm gonna leave that 60 damage on. But we are going to Lunar Fall GX and knock out this Volcanion for free. I like it. Taking two prizes like that. You know he's salty. Oh, and there's another volcano, and he goes back into it. Alright, he's dropping the sycamore.
What can he do? What can he do? Let's hope for a Guzma. That's what we want. No Guzma. That's all right. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, you just attach an energy. Let's attach a DCE. No. Yeah, let's attach a DCE to Mewtwo. Uh-oh. Game's freezing. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to psychic transfer this energy right there. We're hitting done. And then we're just going to we are going to moonbeam geist. Sorry, moon geist beam. Knocking out this this Oranguru, the banana master. We really need to see a Guzma. That's what we need. Let's see, he's probably going to get back his Volcanions. Oh, two Turtonators. That, that makes absolutely no sense. So now he's not going to be able to steam up. I mean, not steam up. Now he's gonna, not going to be able to hit the Power Heater. For what he needs. Oh, he's ripping the sycamore, so okay, okay. You know, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. There he touches. Okay, I figured he would hit Enhanced Hammer. Probably, well, let's hope he only plays one. If he plays the second one, not gonna be a good luck, but we are gonna use that Max Potion. Oh man. Well, not quite what we wanted, but we are going to psychic transfer all of these energies. And we're gonna max potion. Cool. Max potion them. Put that there, we'll put this on him. Attach this energy. And we're gonna move three more of these energies back. We're just gonna leave that one there. And then we are going to rip the sycamore. Perfect. Gonna get rid of. That'll be fine. We're just gonna get rid of that floatstone and the fighting fury. Let's see if this max looks so perfect. Put that on Mewtwo. And then we are just going to Moon Guys Beam. Kind of strange this is what we're using, but hey, that's okay. The deck is Mewtwo Lunala, and we have used both. I, can't, I don't think he's going to be able to hit 250. He needs a Fighting Fury to hit that 250. Or one more Volcanion. Oh, and he concedes, because he knows we're going to knock him out. 
There it is, guys. That's Lunala Mewtwo GX. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Build it yourself. Don't forget to follow and check out Collector's Cash, our great new sponsor. Thanks for watching. Give us the thumb. But for now, we're scooping it up.